first of all, these companies, that's how they make their money. The, the teams come in and they use the same company. These the, bus, the, the buses. Bus, yeah, bus yeah. They, yeah, they, they drive, and, and for as long as I remember, we do, use the same company. Skip, those guys don't say anything. Because if you say something smart, and then that gets back to the company, they're, gonna, they're not gonna, they, first of all, they're gonna fire the driver, and then that, the team's not gonna use that company anymore. He was kidding. I know he was. Yes. He did, he, yes. so that, that's my point. So John Gruden right. tried to put that no. on, on bus no. driver. You no, know how this no. works. Yes. You've been on buses with yes. teams. Many, no, they don't many, say, many They don't times. say anything. Second of all, Skip, okay, you won the game, but what did you win? You didn't win the AFC West. You didn't win the chance to go. You didn't win the AFC. You didn't win the Super Bowl. You driving around the stadium like you like it's a parade. I mean, what did you win? You won. You beat Mahomes one time in four tries, and you're celebrating of this nature. Mm. I, I you ever heard of this before? In all my years, no. I've never heard of a team winning a game on the road and then doing a victory bus but, slap but, no, around no. the stadium. Skip, you know, I was with with Mike in Denver. Uh, and Mike, Al, Mike Shanahan. Mike Shanahan. Yep. And you know Al fired him after like 20 games. Al Davis of the Raiders. Red Raiders. Yes. Yep. Skip, and he despised him. As a matter of fact, Al died owing Mike a quarter of a million. He said, I'd rather you go to court and spend all the money that you're going to try to recruit <laughs> than me paying you. So I'm not paying you. So take me to court. We beat him. I know I know. Mike wanted He's like, we just got on the bus and left. Skip, I mean, you... A big girl level around the stadium. Skip, I'm trying to get out there as fast as I possibly can. Do you know how crowded the stadium is, Skip? People are still there like an hour or two after the game. Although the, with, with the reduced crowds, it wouldn't be you're, near you're, when you're, it was you're, you're if right. you get 75,000. You know what? Now you make, you're you're yeah. ab absolutely right. And then you got a police escort. Yep. So, you know, you can move out of the way. But, Skip, this I, I've never heard anything like this. I've never seen it. I've never been a part of anything like this. And this should be beneath John Gruden. John, you won a Super Bowl. And you act, I mean... You didn't even do this when you won the Super Bowl. That's when you should have drove around the stadium after the, the, the thumb your nose up at that aisle. You do this to Andy? I'm shocked. Mm. I'm not. <laughs> Welcome back, Coach Gruden. This is vintage John Gruden. This is the guy I came to know the years I covered him when he was the Oakland Raiders head coach. Mm -hmm. And I witnessed a couple of screaming matches between him and the legendary, the late, great Al Davis. Mm -hmm. Gruden had the audacity to stand up to Al in front of the whole team and scream back at him because as we know, Al is also a, he was a football coach. Mm -hmm as well as a team builder. Yep. And so he wants to have his hand in the preparation right. for a game. Right. And once he would try to assert himself at practice, Gruden would be all over him. This is my effing football team. Mm -hmm. Get the you know what out of here. Right. This is Gruden to a T. This is Gruden. And, and he is a front runner in a good way. I've said that about LeBron in a good way, but Gruden is a front runner. He's never had much front to run with right. in his return to the Oakland Raiders, right. now the Las Vegas Raiders, yeah. because they have gone, what, 4-12 and 7-9 and in his first two years, and all of a sudden, aha, they're 6-3. and three. Right. He finally got a signature win. He got something he could hang his hat on, mm -hmm. that he could crow about, that, that he could chest beat about. And I thought it was very cool, though it's completely against the grain. It's just <laughs> who he is to, to come up with this ingenious idea. Let's take a victory lap in the bus. And it wasn't about a smart aleck bus driver. That was just Gruden being smart, smart aleck smart ba back yes. to, to the media asking about this. Next question, you can see he's trying to hide the smirk on his face because he loved it. Mm -hmm. He likes Andy Reid, but he doesn't love anybody else except him and his Football formerly team. Oakland Raiders right. because he still considers them the Oakland Raiders. Yep. So he's trying to instill that old silver and black pride, you know, that just, just win, win baby. baby. That That's what, okay, so they go in there and they, they probably caught my homeboy in his home by surprise mm -hmm. and they win 40 to 32, but they didn't just win the game. They have 490 total yards to your team's 413. Mm -hmm. And look at this, they outpassed them 346 to 333. They outran them, did they? 144 to 80 in rush yards. Uh, combined third and fourth down, they were 9 of 16 to 7 of 16 for the, the Chiefs. Time of possession, 35 minutes to 25 minutes. 
It was 40 to 32, but they pretty much dominated them in every statistic. So that, that's one to say, hey, we should be proud of this. this I, I want you to remember this feeling, how we feel. We are in their house. Right. We just won in their house. You know that feeling. You've won yep. in that house mm -hmm. as a visiting team, right? Yep. Yep. How many times did you win there? A bunch yeah, of times, we won a bunch. right? Yep. Okay. You didn't play off game. Okay. You, you didn't need to do a victory lap because you were already established. Right. You, you were the Denver freaking Broncos right. and, and you, you already knew how good you were. Because the difference is, Skip, there's a difference in hoping you win and being surprised. That, that you is correct. Expecting. Okay. See, they didn't I, expect I think to they win. were surprised. Yes. And Gruden was pleasantly surprised and, and he wanted the, the feeling of it to, to sink in. Right. He, he wanted to, to, to instill itself, install itself in their psyches where they, they remember that feeling. Right. So we're going to do a victory lap in the buses. It's unheard of. <laughs> it's completely against the grain. I don't, I'm, I'm fine with Andy is offended by it because he is a league man. Yeah. He's been around. He does it the right he way. Do it by the book. Right. Totally by the book. Gruden does next to nothing <laughs> by the book. Well, all I know is it's not that they're a three-point favorite over the Chiefs this Sunday at Las Vegas. They're a six-and-a-half-point dog right. in their building. So, so again, they're still trying to break through. So this is a huge game for Las Vegas. And the odds makers in Las Vegas are saying, uh, hold on. John. <clears throat> You better have your team ready to play. Better. Because I tell you what Andy will hey, do, he, he will run the score up on you. He, he will run the score up. This is for <laughs> blood this time. And Andy acknowledged, he said, these two teams don't like each no. other because they've never like, liked each other. Never, ever. Okay. There's some, there's some, Skip, there, that's the original AFC West. It is. They, they were in the, when in 1960, when they were established, Kansas City, Oakland, and Denver was there. And they do not like each other. We don't like them. Now, Raiders are our most fierce rival. And probably back and forth because, you know, uh, for the longest time, the Chiefs been good. You know, they were winning Super Bowls. They were going to playoffs. They were, they were good for a long time. But these, these teams don't like each other. They literally, I think it might have been 84, they got into a, 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 they got into a fight, a big fight. Uh, and the NFL had to intervene and uh, suspended a few players. But there's no love lost between Kansas City and the Raiders. Whether they're in L.A., whether they're in Oakland, <laughs> The, the mere fact that they're the Raiders, that's what it is, Skip. The location has nothing to do with it. Yes, I understand the Oakland, there's something about the Oakland Raiders, but when they moved to L.A., it didn't matter. They moved back to Oakland, it didn't matter. Now they're in Las Vegas. It does not matter. Nope. But I tell you what, John Gruden, you better have your team ready to play. And it will have them ready to play. And, boy, I'm telling you, your defense better be ready, you ready better, to play. Be, uh, I agree, because Derek Carr <laughs> went into Mahomes' home. Yep and outplayed him because yeah. he had a QBR of 92 that day, scale of 0 to 100, which is very high, especially for a road QBR. Yes. Mahomes had a 77. Not bad, but not a 92. Right. So this one's on Mahomes. It's on Derek Carr to rise and shine again. And this is for AFC West blood. Yeah, this is a, this is a Josh. This has all to make it for a Josh Jacobs game. Yep, it does. And that's probably how they're going to try to attack it. But don't let the Raiders win this game oh, yeah. because then they'll be off to the races. <laughs> yeah. Th this is Gruden he, in his third year. I told you he would get this thing turned around. It took two years of improvement. Right. He proved three games from year one to two. And now it looks like he's going to improve about three yeah. more games because they're already six and three. And I do like their chances overall to be a playoff team. Oh, yeah. I'm not saying I love their chances this Sunday because this is going to be rough. He may have bitten off more than he can <laughs> shoot in this one. Every time he talks to the media, though, you just want to know what he has to say yep. because you never know what's going to come out of his mouth.